Hi guys, I want to show you a new tool that I've made for Blender called Absolute Snap. It makes copying and pasting in World Space super easy, as well as animating constraints. So first we have the copy and paste buttons here. If you copy something, and then it gets moved somewhere else, you can always paste it back into the same spot that it was, even if it has constraints enabled, as long as it says evaluated safely. We also have Snap Selector to Active. Say if I wanted the second mag to be snapped to the first mag, I can do that. It also works on multiple selections, say if I wanted both of them to be snapped to the stock for some reason, I can do that and they're both snapped to the perfect spot. One of my favorite buttons is relative. Right now the mag isn't following the gun body, but say I like the relationship between the two and I want to paste it back in somewhere else. I'm going to select both and click relative. Then I'll go to some other point in this animation and I can paste it back in. I can also paste backwards or forwards in time which will also key, so it's a great way of animating fake constraints if you ever need. If you shift click any of these buttons, it will also bake, so you can bake backwards in time, forwards in time, or you can bake the whole timeline. Then you'll have the fake relationship keyed for the entire animation. Next up we have the constraint section. You can see the influences are both zero, and the toggles are off, and the magazine isn't following the gun. But I can just turn that on with the power button here, and it will be snapped perfectly. You won't have it teleporting anywhere. It'll handle turning it on and off while keeping it in place. Same with the left hand. The influence gets toggled on and off, and the magazine stays in place. If you have multiple turned on, you can disable them all, instead of having to toggle them one by one. If you want to animate them, you can left-click the name to insert or delete keyframes. You can also toggle keyframes with this button here. You can animate all of the constraints and your object with the key all button. Say right now I want the body to be on, and then later in the animation, say when it ends I want to do something else, I can key it. I'll go to the next frame, and then I will turn it off and key again. Now on frame 30, it is following the gun, and on frame 31, it's not. You can also delete the keys with this button, and that will also delete the current frame for your object. If for whatever reason you don't want the snapping to be handled when you toggle the constraints on and off, you can turn off auto snap here, and you'll see without any auto snap it likes to teleport to random locations. Next we have a name checkbox. Right now the constraints are showing the bone, and if you don't have a bone it'll show the target. But if you want to show the name of the constraint, you can turn that on and it will display the name instead. Finally, you can link the constraints. Right now I can have multiple on at a time. But if you want to only have one enabled and you don't want to have to deal with toggling all of them, you can choose link and it will make sure that only one is toggled at a time. You can also turn on auto keying, which will display here, and that will automatically key your constraints anytime you toggle them on or off, as well as key anytime you paste something. One last thing I want to point out with the constraints is if you have location or rotation channels disabled, it will give you an error saying copy only and it'll tell you what the error is. This error will also show up if you have the influence set to something other than 0 or 1. It's all good with the scale, you can turn the scale on and off as you wish. But in some cases, if you have set inverse on a parent object that is scaled a little bit strangely and not uniformly, it'll give you an error as well. So just be careful and watch out for that. And if you get that, you might have to clear the inverse before continuing. But in most cases, you'll be able to snap perfectly and it'll make animating much easier. I hope this tool is useful for you. You can grab it on Gumroad for free in the link below or on screen. I want to say a huge thank you to Dustin who helped me out when I was developing this tool. You can check out his Gumroad down below as well. Happy animating!